Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to actually be doing a plan with me for January 2019. It's very exciting. It's Boxing Day here, so it's still December, but I need to get my planner sorted and organised for next week. And next week is the 31st of December onwards, so into January. And I decided to transition from my old classic happy planner into my new classic, as well as my mini. So I've got two to do today. I'm sorry about the lighting. I know it's quite shadowy and there's this nice tripod leg going across the image, but this is just the only way that I could get it to work, given that I couldn't be able to do and put any effort into trying to fix it. Um, so yeah, I could have used the last page, or the last uh, double page in my existing planner, but I decided I wanted the 1st of January to be in my new planners, so I'm going to actually move into my new planners, which is very exciting. So, putting this one to one side, um, which is huge, it was 18 months and I'm now moving into my new planners which are these two so I've got the um, classic happy planner in the mod greenery and I've also got the mini in I think it's like watercolour something or other, I'll have to put the name of this one up on the screen because I can't remember it but I did a full flip through of both of these so I can link that in one of those little boxes above as well um, but yeah so I'm going to start with the mini one I think which I just find so so cute it's so tiny um, I just absolutely love it I might just zoom in a little bit because it's so small Let's see So yeah, I just think it's super cute and this one is one I'm going to have in my bag with me, I'm going to carry um, on the go. So I love the colours, they're so pretty. So this is January, so I've already written in a few birthdays um, and I'm just going to do the uh, monthly view um, at the moment. So I did go through and did a sort out of all my stickers because I have about a million and I've already picked out which stickers, that's just what this post-it note was, so I already know what stickers I want to use. Um, which is in my winter folder, these ones. So this is um, Oodle Madoodles from Etsy and I don't really think they're the highest quality. I don't really care for the stickers that you get from Oodle Mad Madoodles. I do think the designs, some of the designs are quite cute but the quality just never seems to be as good. I also think um, the way that she or they have done them, it looks nice because you have the uh, like a printed patterned background for the stickers but it does make it seem, it kind of gives the illusion that you get more stickers than you actually do because some of this pattern is just in the background, they're not actually the stickers. So when you're looking on the website on Etsy, it's harder to see what you're actually getting. Anyway, um, I do like these little blue tits and um, pine cones and things and they are quite wintry without being Christmassy which is a problem that I have with a lot of wintry stickers, they tend to be too Christmassy. Um, so these are the ones I'm going to use. So I'm just going to pop these down. So that is it, that is the, the finished monthly, um, I've finished this whole like mini sticker sheet and you can kind of see what I was talking about in that it kind of looks like there's still some stickers on the sheet but it's not, it's just the pattern background but that's done now so that can go in the bin. Um, and I will write a few more things in for this mini planner because it's going to be the one that I carry around, it's going to be the one where I put down the important key things that I need to remember, but I don't really put my day-to-day to-do list or make too many notes. Um, but I just felt like I needed to have a planner on the go with me, and I wanted to try out what the minis were like. And it's so cute. It's so cute. Uh, I can't get past how cute it is. Um, <laughs> but I've put these stickers in, and this number of stickers was probably one or two too many, to be totally honest with you. Like, this one is a bit like they look a bit clumsy but whatever. Um, the blue tits are very cute and I'm quite happy with that. Um, it kind of works although the 
original spread, uh, the original monthly view is quite pink because January is a pink month in this planner. Um, but I wanted to keep it seasonal, so I used winter stickers. Anyway, that's my mini. So I'm just going to move on to my uh, classic. So this is the classic, this is the Mod Greenery, I do remember the name of this one. Um, so this is a totally different colour way, totally different feel. This has got lots of geometric designs and also lots of greenery and leaves. Um, so I do like it but again it's not seasonal and I do like to have seasonality so I am going to be using my stickers for that. I've already written in my birthdays in here. Um, and I've also already picked out what stickers I want to use for this monthly view. So this is my Snowflake sticker set, which I just got and actually will be featured in an upcoming haul video. Uh, plug, plug. Um, and this is from the Ginger Cat Company, which is also on Etsy. Etsy pretty much where I get all my stickers from. I don't really know anywhere else, especially for UK based sellers because it's too expensive to buy from the US with the customs and everything that you have to pay on top of the postage. It just makes it prohibitively expensive. Um, but these are from the Ginger Cat Company who I've bought a quite a few stickers from. They're um, fairly simple in that um, they're just snowflakes. I mean, the snowflakes themselves are quite intricate and um, more complex, but um, there isn't. A, it's just snowflakes. There isn't a lot of other things, um, but I think that'll look quite nice on the monthly. So I'm just going to pop these in. Okay guys, I think that is it. Um, I still have about half the sheet left, but because they're all quite similar, I think it will be too much and too repetitive. So I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, and it also means that I can use some of these in a future weekly spread as well, which I think will be quite fun and also a good use of stickers. Because I spend too much money on stickers, really. Anyway, um, I did also realise that one thing that I like to do is put washi tape on days when I have um, days off from work and I didn't remember to do that in this planner either so I'm just going to do that uh, now if I can find some washi tape. Oh. Um, right, so the day that I've got off is New Year's Day. Um, this is already kind of marked on that calendar. I think I still will put some washi tape on, but I kind of wish I might cut this to make it a bit thinner because in this mini planner it might be a bit too much. And I don't have scissors. Okay. So this washi tape is kind of annoying because it has a backing that you have to take off, which means that it just all falls off the roll unless you're careful. Um, but apart from that, I quite like it. Um, hmm. <laughs> this is so much easier if I didn't have that there. badly cut. Whatever. Anyway, so that's uh, 
a day off work for me then. That is the only day apart from the weekends that I have off. Um, so that's fine. And then, same in this one. Just need a bigger piece. green goes nicely with this um, green January spread we got going on here. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, and then I just need to write in a few things, what's going on, and I also need to actually decorate the weekly spread, but I'll do that off camera, or this video will be 17 hours long. Um, but that is it, yeah, so if you liked the video, please give it a like, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe, and I hope you had a nice Christmas if you celebrated, and that you have a great new year, and I'll see you in 2019.